So even as more devices are being added to the internet, so there's a like a measure of the physical and then the digital. The question that should be asked is how do we come to a point of sustainability? How do we come to the point of security? And then how do we come to the point where transactions are made simplistically? Or <laughs> sorry for my English. How do we come to the point where transactions are simplified? So you want to study the different attacks, how attacks actually work in the uh, system from attacks that happen at the network level to the attacks that happen at the application level to the attacks that happen at the hardware level. So there are many attacks that could happen in the, uh, on the system. And how do we mitigate against this? Well, blockchain is here to help, but we have to go beyond blockchain. We have to bring in maybe uh, hardware or whatsoever. So what I um I would Shane, sorry I would Shane is doing, they're doing something similar to our uh, IOTA. But this platform also have their own hardware, just like a flash drive, that you don't need to write a program or whatsoever. You just simply take this device and you connect it to the system, and it's connected. So what is what's the technical architecture of this program? What does it consist? It consists of um, what IOTA Shin has, which is called the, di um, the directed acyclic um, acyclic graph. And then you have the simple payment uh, simple payment verification layer. We actually verify what actually happens. And it uses uh, the practical Byzantine consensus protocol. So the practical Byzantine fault tolerance consensus protocol. And then it uses the CPS, which is a cyber physical uh, system. So they have their own hardware. So the architecture of ITC refers to the CPS cluster. Imbued CPS technical system structure on a network of five layer on five layers. And the layers has to do with now the connection layer, the conversion layer, the cyber layer, the cognition layer, then the verification layer. So when you sort in these devices, you have to build the system that it should be be able to connect. And then it should be able to convert whatsoever is needed to be converted, and then the cyber layer whatsoever. And then the big data smart contract chain. So ITC will become the most abundant data ecosystem in generation of IoT and generate large uh, amounts of data based on smart devices and people's behavior in ITC. In ITC, user data belong to them. Any company which plans to do big data analysis or algorithm model training or advertisement needs to submit chain codes to IoT. So what that basically means is you're having this device, data could be collected, but this data cannot be collected and given to someone else without your permission. So if a person or a company actually um, needs to use this data, they will have to submit some chain code. And chain code basically is like a smart contract. Okay, this is what we're taking the data, this is how much we're paying for the data, this is what we want to use it for. You can actually track to see the progress of your data where it's been led to. So you can see the roadmap for this system where they be coming from and all that. And you can see where IoT can be used. And who is behind the team? These Chinese names, sometimes I don't like calling them. You should check them for yourself. They have a very good advice to team. So, this, so these are some of the um, investment agencies. Here is some of the platforms you can actually Go and get, and these are some cooperative partners. This is the white paper. You can check up with your Telegram or whatsoever. So, guys, the space, there are many competitors IoT chain, CP chain, um, blockchain of things. This, 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 this. So, guys, do have a very good one.